Round six of the Bankfin Off-Road Championship, the Caledon 400 in the Devetsdorf area. Voss and Griffith had increased their lead to 31 points over Woolridge and Schultammer, but dropped points would have to start coming into play soon. Another Nissan win, but this time it was the turn of Throbler and Leek after the Villiers and Jordan retired with clutch problems. Woolridge and Schultammer finished second to the Ford Racing Ranger, five minutes behind the winning Nissan. Overall victory had eluded the pair all season. The Class D win went to Mark Corbett and John Moore in the Century Property Development Isuzu after the Force Nissan retired with suspension problems. Hasbrook and Bosch had a welcome return to form and finished second in the Castrol Toyota Land Cruiser, with Carlos Dobro and Steve Cooper third in another Land Cruiser. Ford racing pair Manfred Schroeder and Jack Peckham won Class E for the fourth time. This time they were followed home by Nielsen Zelda from the vault in the Nissan Hardbody. Class wins for Nissan, Isuzu and Ford, with Ford also holding down three of the top ten positions overall. We had all different types of uh, road conditions. It was rough, we had mud, we had force stuff like rally stuff. Um, but we paced ourselves well and we knew if we are going to pay ourselves that we don't have any punctures or whatever and we keep a good pace, we've got a good chance to win it. Dars had closed the gap on Harvey and Stone, and Taylor had finally overtaken Null in the Special Vehicle Championship battle. Bond and Lombard were also well placed. Lowe's and Gerard Duplessis chalked up their third overall win of the season in the Mobile Jimco, and were followed home yet again by the consistent Harvey and Stone, whose sole objective was to accumulate as many points as possible and win the championship for a third time. Dars and Rutherford finished third overall in the Nashua Mobile Race Co with Billy Bond and Anton Lombard again second in the Prolong race car. A fourth consecutive Class B win for Marcus Taylor and Mark de Chalain in the trusty Truck Time JRE. The youngsters had taken Class B by the scruff of the neck and weren't about to let go. Phil Nell had no answer for the Class B Championship leaders and was forced to settle for second in the Luck Africa Truggy. Victory by over 28 minutes for the Duplessis brothers, another podium finish for Dawson Rutherford. Taylor and De Chalain won Class B by just over 19 minutes. We were in the last seven years, the wedrennen. And we began now as this year, something to get So, I think it's now time. Rain, sleet and hail welcomed competitors to the Queen Motor Spares Tarka 400. Consistent performances by Woolwich and Schultheimer now saw them level pegging with Foss and Griffith in the production vehicle championship. But keep an eye on Frogler and Leek, who were creeping up the ladder. Winning the Tarka 400 certainly helped their championship cause greatly. Woolwich and Schultheimer again settled for second in the Ford Racing Ranger and were more concerned with amassing points at this stage of the season. Force and Griffith survived suspension problems on the Nissan Hardbody to win Class D and keep their championship hopes very much alive. The Zermattens came home second in Class D in the PlayStation Mastercraft Pajero, ahead of Mark and Stuart Moffat in the McCarthy Land Rover. The Schroeder and Peckham domination of Class E continued, and a fifth Class E win was theirs for the taking. The De Brains survived the weekend to finish second in the privately entered Toyota Hilux and were followed by Stein and Sierkers in another Toyota Hilux. Richard Carolyn making his debut in the production vehicle category and Scott Abram won Class F in the O'Hagan's Copenhagen Hotel Super Team Jeep. Krobler and Leek won by over seven minutes and now matched teammates De Villiers and Jordan in the winning stakes. There were class wins for Nissan, Ford and Jeep. The Tarka Stat event is not uh, easy. It's the first time we finished it and we win it. Dars had been stripped of points due to insufficient starters in Class S on past events and now trailed championship leader Harvey and Stone by 29 points. John Weir Smith and Jeff Minnett were fastest in the prologue and dominated the event to win the special vehicle category and Class A ahead of Harvey and Stone and Martian Air. Darson Rutherford won Class S and finished 8th overall in the Nashua Mobile Race Co. 
Taylor and Deschelaine won Class B for the fifth consecutive time in the Truck Time JRE and predictably were followed home by Gil Nell in the Luck Africa Truggy. A second overall win for Weir Smith and the O'Hagan's Coppenong Hotel Super Team and another second place for Harvey and Stone. Class A vehicles filled the top seven positions. There's so many people we need to thank and appreciate and this team and the hours they spend and their dedication to it, it all adds up. The final round of the Bankman Off-Road Championship was the Carnival City Casino 400. Foss and Griffith and Woolridge and Schultheimer were still equal on points, with Frobler and Leek the dark horses in the championship battle. It was the dark horses who trotted to victory and the Class T title after Woolridge and Schultheimer crashed out of the event. Four wins to Krobler and Leek and three to de Villiers and Jordan. Cliff and Louis Weichelt finished second in Class T in the N1 4x4 Ford. The production vehicle title in the Class D win went to Foss and Griffith in the Nissan Hardbody, with Mark Corbett and John Moore second in Class D in the Century Property Developments Isuzu. Hugo and Yarp de Brain finally got the better of Schroeder and Peckham to win Class E, with Hannah Stein and Ferdy Sierka second in the Toyota Hilux double cab. Victory to Frobler and Leek, but a stunning second overall from Foss and Griffith. Five Class E vehicles featured in the top ten. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it was very, very nice. Uh, it was a very rough route, tough on the cars, especially on the cars, tough on the drivers as well. And uh, we're very glad that we could win. And it looks like we've uh, won the class championship. Harvey and Stone had the championship all but in the bag, but had to finish to ensure the title was theirs. The Class B title was also not yet decided. Another Duke C victory. Four starts in the Jimco and four wins for the Volman Stud Diamond Miners. Second overall and the best finish for Gary and Bodo Berthold in the commuter net bat this season. Taylor and De Shalane retired with mechanical problems and the Class B win went to Rob Gurney and Reg Sutton with Francois Smith third in the Franick Sandmaster. Rookies Nick Gosler and Glenn Stain won Class S in the O'Hagan's Copenhagen Hotel Super Team Raceco and were followed home by Hamish and Alistair Stubbs. Five Class A and four Class B entries in the top ten and debut class wins for Gurney and Sutton and Gosler and Stain. Why is tough and we have four racket track for the ochtend and uh, one for wrong slot gemaakt. We was uh, net achter Appy and we was on vierde. We was allemaal weer bij gegaan en we blijven voor. Why is bijrop? The Bankman Offroad Championship Awards were unique. Bankfin and the MSA Off-Road Car Racing Commission employed Global Gold to design and mint gold medals for the championship winners, with each of the overall champions minting their own. Hey, man, this sport thing. Harvey and Stone were crowned the special vehicle and Class A champions, Taylor and Deschelaine the Class B champions, and Dawson Lombard the Class S champions. Foss and Griffith were crowned the production vehicle and Class D champions, Krobner and Leek the Class T champions, and Schroeder and Peckham, the Class E champions.